Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. I am going over Clary Set. You're like, Clary? Clary Sage? Absolutely. So, I have tended not to use Clary Sage very much. Some people right now are gasping, like, what? I know. I've used it in a number of formulas, but to me, it's so piercing strong, and I don't mean sharp, but, you know, it just takes over. It just is like, it gets in your face, and I don't know. So, I found Clary Set, C-L-A-R-Y-C-E-T. This is a top note. It is 12 hours, though, even though it's a top note. The average use is 10 percent. Um, so I'm going to just read the description and then I'm going to tell you what I think, like I always do. But this is my video. <laughs> Herbal, floral, rosy, dry, plum, clary sage, cedar, green. Here's the main part. And this is why I love it. Why I'm doing a video on it. Softer and creamier than clary sage. It's a very natural note. I totally agree. It is way softer with some really nice supportive nuances around the clary sage that is softer, rounder, and creamier. You will smell the clary sage because it's here, but it's just softer, creamier, rounder, and then it has these little supports around it. And I just said them, like the floral, the rosy. And when it says, dr um, not dry, but dry plum, it says, does, this is not a dry material. It doesn't smell dry. It just has dry plum. Instead of it just being plum, a ripe plum, it's the dried plum aroma. So that's one of them. And it... You'll smell a soft green, just a soft green. I love this one. This is my new Clary Sage. I will totally use this when I want a Clary Sage note because it won't take over. I really, really like this. I really do. So the cool thing about this is you could go in the citrus direction you can go in the floral direction, like floral rose, but you can go in any direction, in like any type of floral with this as well. Mmm, really. So like this and peach. I just made a brand new peach accord. These two together, mmm, it would be really, really nice. Um, and <clears throat> with wood, absolutely. Are you kidding me? This would be beautiful. Even if you had a sharp, clean, sharp wood, because you know there's some sharp and dry, or dry woods out there, this is going to take a little bit of that dryness away if you want that to happen. Very clean, but herbal at the same time. Um, because a lot of times with just clary sage, I don't think clean. I just think super textured and not as clean and just, um, it's going to sound terrible. Dirty herbal, but <laughs> it's just what I think. And sharp, but this is very clean around it. It's just, oh my god, I love this one. I really, really like it. And it's not just like, if you like sage, get this. N no, to me, this is way broader where sage, I, in my opinion, can only be used in a couple of areas. Some of you are going to be like, oh my god, that's untrue. I get it. It's just, it seems... Um, if sage were one-dimensional, this has five. 
it just is it has so much more I can't think of another word but diverse <laughs> it has so much more um, areas that you can go into it's broader and I, I don't know I, I'm doing a video on it because I love it I really like this a lot um, with any of your greens you know how a lot of the greens are very sharp um, shring aldehyde um, stimone uh, hexanol CIS3 um, some of those can be very sharp and pointed you can use this with it and it will round it out and take some of that sharpness away so that's but one of the th main things I'm thinking of when I smell this is like with this peach accord putting a tad of this will give a little bit of the green leaf like if you get a peach that you just picked off a tree with some of the leaves still on the stem and you smell it that's what these two will be together so I hope that is helpful. I'm kind of looking around to see if there's anything else that I think would go well with this. Yes, neroli. I think this would go well with neroli. Again, it's in the citrus. Um, it's neroli, okay, it's not like citrus, I get it. It's the orange blossom, distilled. I get it it's the flower part but it would still go really nice with this even though um, like orange oil neroli and this that would be beautiful together so I think that's it for Clary set and I appreciate you joining me if you like this you can give me a thumbs up if you have not subscribed please subscribe and just wanted to say thank you so much for being here and I love giving you information and educating you. And even though I am educating you, I still can make mistakes. And I don't give the be all end all. And I, there's just probably a lot of stuff that I leave out. But I could be on here for two hours doing a video. So anyway, hope I'm giving you... Um, what you're looking for and um, the basics. So thank you very much. I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.